All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh. My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's do this. What's that other? It was like a black, that dark, some like a Samorg deck. These weren't around yet. It was like back in like, that's an old card. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Back in like 08, 09. It was an old, real old card. I know it's gotten more support over the years. So it says the card with the, oh okay so maybe I should read the card first before I that is so oh my god that was so stupid and I'm about to take 2700 possibly even more wow that was so crazy so we'll summon Kremlins maybe stall a little bit Jesus Compose on one of those small ones. Oh man, I always try to wait for the big beat stick to come out. You sacrifice two or three, and then it's only one beat stick. You bounce it back to his hand, and they're open for an attack. That's why I did that. But duh, Bird of Sovereignty here can't be affected, nor do any of the cards they point to. So it's it's wow, Dark Hole is not even going to do anything. We're screwed. Only thing I can think of is the stalwart crab lines. And try to bring out a more powerful synchro. That's Dark Samorg. That's who it is. That's the old school card. Can't set any cards on the field. No, no, no. Uh, that thing is insane. Even back then, if you can make a, a wind and a dark deck, I had made that back in, um, what was it, Millennium Duels? I think it was Decade Duels back when I made that deck. Before I had a YouTube channel, I would, I, I would game battle on, on game, you know. Remember that on MLG? I would game battle. Oh shoot. Back in the day.
Birds are insane. Definitely might try this deck out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel when the series grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.